Hi, my name is Justin Limit, and I'm a technical sales consultant at Digital Light Innovations here in Austin, Texas. Welcome to DLI Deep Dives. It's a video series where we take a detailed look at the various products in our catalog. In this video, we're going to be spotlighting the new SuperSpeed 3.0 DLPV modules from our good friends and partners, Violux. So we're really excited to now offer the SuperSpeed V modules because they combine the USB 3.0 data transfer along with the latest memory technology and the steering and speed and precision capabilities of the best-selling Discovery D4100 development kit from Texas Instruments. The SuperSpeed V modules represent the highest performance class of all DLP catalog products and it supports a wide array of emerging applications such as factory automation, 3D scanning, rapid prototyping, industrial robotics, confocal microscopy, machine vision, hyperspectral imaging, spectroscopy, maskless lithography, augmented reality, as well as 3D volumetric display. Ultimately, SuperSpeed V modules give users full access to the DLP Discovery 4100 chipsets without the need for time-consuming development for software, firmware, or high-frequency FPGA logic code. They also provide users a flexible platform to develop a proof of concept. It serves as a reference design for a market-ready product and helps facilitate scientific experimentation with the proven reliability of DLP technology. So what we have here today is the SuperSpeed 0.95-inch 1080p kit. So this is 1080p as I just mentioned, so that's 1920 by 1080 uh, resolution. Now we also have the 0.7 inch XGA configuration that you can get, so that's 1024 by 768. Now with the XGA, there's only one flex cable. The 1080p here has two flex cables. Now both DMDs come in either UV or visible, but both are optically efficient from 350 to 2500 nanometers. So I want to zoom in and take a closer look at the SuperSpeed controller board. The SuperSpeed control board is equipped with a Xilinx Vertex 7 applications FPGA and it's completely configured with the SuperSpeed logic code. The board also has 8 gigabytes of DDR3 memory which stores 80,000 XGA binary patterns. Now on the far left you're going to see the USB 3.0 interface, in the middle is the I2C interface, and then on the right here is the GPIO connector pin for connecting external devices like cameras and such. Another integral part of the SuperSpeed control board is this DLPC 410 controller here, which is found also on the 4100 and our 41XX bundles. So a user would transfer patterns via the USB 3.0 interface here, and Violux is a uh, super speed device drivers would then send the patterns to the onboard memory here. They would buffer and then users can trigger them off manually or from an external device and then the FPGA logic is, as well as the DLPC 410 controller help facilitate this movement of data across the flex cables to the DMD here. Now this is 1080p so it has two flex cables. You can see the DMD hardware and the DMD remote board. SuperSpeed V modules are controlled by the ALP 4.3 SuperSpeed API or Application Programming Interface. So ALP stands for Accessory Light Modulator Package. Here's a uh, table of contents as far as all your commands and controls. You use the ALP to customize and build your application. So this is only a demo GUI. It has just test patterns as you can see. In our case, we made a LabVIEW interface. So you can see you have your different ways to build the application. And then this is the result of what we made. It was just something real simple. You have your basic controls like bit depth, pattern rate. Uh, you can upload uh, BMP files. You can preview them. So uh, very, very helpful there. At the heart of the SuperSpeed 3.0 V modules is the ALP 4.3 SuperSpeed Controller Suite. So ALP stands for Accessory Light Modulator Package. And it also includes a well-proven, easy-to-use, application programming interface or API that'll allow users to develop a custom application and it easily integrates with C++, LabVIEW, MATLAB, .NET, Visual Studio, Visual Basic and more. Also another nice thing 
is that with the super speed V modules, you can connect external devices like cameras and optical sensors. Right? So there's GPIO connectors on board, as we looked at just a little while ago here. And you can easily connect multiple devices. This is especially uh, handy for applications uh, such as 3D scanning, optical metrology, uh, robotic guidance, and many more. So let's quickly look at the principles of operations for the SuperSpeed V modules. So at the top there on the left under PC, you're going to see DLP user software. That's the application or GUI that you build and customize using the ALP 4.3 API. Now, the SuperSpeed has USB 3.0 drivers, which allow the patterns to be transferred to the onboard memory of the control board, which is 8 gigs of DDR3. The transfer rates across USB 3.0 are greater than 1,500 frames per second. So the patterns are stored in the onboard memory, and you can trigger them off manually or from a remote device like an optical sensor or a camera, which is represented on the far right under external user hardware. And then last, at the bottom there on the right, you're going to see LED controller. And that's going to be your light source, for example, like the, the Star 07 um, family uh, of products there, the optics modules. And that, like I mentioned, connects via I squared C. So you can see why we're excited to now offer the SuperSpeed 3.0 V modules. Make sure to hit the subscribe button below. We're going to be rolling out more DLI deep dive videos, so make sure to check those out. We'll cover products such as our Cell 5500 compact embeddable light engine, our DLI 6500 bundles, as well as our DLI 41XX bundle series. Also, we just launched our new DLI store on our website, dlinnovations.com. And last, make sure to follow us on all of our various social media sites. Thank you very much for watching DLI Deep Dives. See you next time.